So we are praying over all 40 Broadway theaters today. We gathered for prayer and worship and coffee and, and muffins. And we set forth in teams and uh, we're praying for all 40 today. So I'm just live. I'm going to do this one, the Ambassador Theater. And I am, uh, Lord, just blessed by the name Ambassador because you have called us to be ambassadors for you, Lord God. And we pray, Father, that the actors, singers, dancers, musicians, that everyone involved with Chicago, Lord God, would be drawn to you. Though the, the storyline itself may not obviously be pointing to you, we pray that there would be elements that remind people of you, of justice, of mercy. Um, and Father, that, that just the, the act of singing, Lord God, would stir people's souls and give them a, a sense of desire for you, a longing for you, Father. May this be something that sparks in audiences uh, a desire for better, a desire for you, for, for using, using music to worship you. Pray for salvations to come in this place and for you to be magnified and glorified in it. In Jesus' name. And my prayer partner today is Greg Rushton. And so I've invited him to, to pray as well. God, we just uh, thank you for um, just the legacy of redemption and the legacy of um, forgiveness. The original author of this musical wrote it as, a, um, as an act of contrition for her part that she played in enabling women in the 20s and 30s to um, get away with murder. And so, Lord, I ask that you would just continue that legacy where it's a call to repentance and a call to um, give our lives back to God. And, Lord, I just ask that um, we would continue to pray for all the people who are part of this production, who have been a part of this legacy for 20-plus uh, years, and that you would just be um, drawing people to you and to your glory through everything. Amen.